Well, why? Um, the race is the same perspective for all the Diamond Leagues when it comes to hurdles. Um, it's it's damn near the world final every time we, we link up. Say, deep spot. So, yeah, it's always is. So the race is always usually won within the last 10 meters. So the goal is to stay on your feet, have good technique, and just hope it swings in your favor. I know you haven't watched it back yet, but the middle part of the race looked like you just looked, you lost it again. But then the power came through at the end, man. Yeah. You know, it's like a, a really strange race. Um, you know, I'm, I'm older in the game, and I'm petty. Um, so I won't let anybody just leave me. Um, if that <laughs> requires me to dig deep and pull out something crazy, then so be it. But, um, you know, I've had a couple of down years with me yeah. switching coaches, um, switching places of residence and switching sponsors. And it's just good to know that, you know, I'm not completely horrible and I still got a little I bit of I wonder, talent. you know, what happened. I, you know, obviously yeah. over here we don't get to find I'm out just all the I'm just a sound bite. I, um, I lived in... I lived in three states, I had four coaches, and I had two sponsors within a seven-month window. Um, but that's just the musical chairs, that's track and field. Um, and so the music stopped playing, and I sat my black ass down in Orlando, Florida. Uh, and it's been working out pretty well. Yeah. What do you hope for yourself this season? And when you set out at the beginning of the season, what was the targets? Um, the, when I, I'm sorry, what? When you set out at the beginning of the season, yeah. what were the targets? Um, the targets was just to get back into form, get back into fitness. Um, in my downtime, a lot of athletes had just passed me on PRs and passed me on the world list. And the most frustrating thing is to not have, have an ability to respond. You know, and now that I'm back in the game and I'm able to compete with them and, you know, take a couple of scalps and, you know, my scalps be ripped off a couple of times too. It's just, it's just glad to be part of the narrative, part of the conversation, just having a good time out here and, and just living out the dream. Thank you. Um, I actually didn't make the U.S. team, oh, so man. I nursed an injury, um, but we're sending an incredible team out there. So Rio for you next year, right? um, Absolutely, Rio will be there. If I knew Portuguese, I'd say something real sexy about being there, but I don't. Um, so I might pick up a Rosetta Stone, but I'm going to have a great race. Thank you so much.